we need more awareness of the different kinds of people that there are here, like whether it's mental illness or like the like gay straight alliance or something. I think we need more information and to include more people. Yeah, like to go into Mickey's point, yes we have a acceptance within our school, but at the same time there are people who aren't so accepting of people of other like cultures or sexualities. Like, the awareness in general needs to increase, because, like, when people don't know what people, like, other people are going to go through, it's, it's hard for them to understand what they're doing wrong, right? Like, if they don't know what they're doing wrong, then they're not going to stop doing it, right? I think it's, like, a team effort. You have to have, like, it is up to the students, but it's also up to the teachers to make sure that things they're saying won't be taken the wrong way by the students. I just, I think it's really, everyone has to be involved. Um, I would think stuff like clubs, like a gay straight alliance kind of thing, or just any club really, because students do work with um, teachers and other staff members to try to create any equality within like the school. So. Um, well, for instance, grade nine English class, you look at um, like the story of the Garden of Eden, which that is obviously a part of Christianity, and like there's no specific saying this is what actually happened kind of thing. It's more just studying like um, the English literature side of it. I think maybe if that were to be kind of taken out, because personally I don't find it offensive and I don't really have a religious affiliation, but maybe someone who is of um, another religion other than Christianity might take that offensive. Um. To, to, add to, uh, to add to that, um, I think a lot of teachers are really careful when they say stuff like that. Like Before they begin talking about it, they will mention to students, you know, I am about to talk about this, but I don't mean to offend anyone, and if it makes you uncomfortable, just speak up. I think a lot of teachers do that because they, they do want everyone to be comfortable in their class. I think Students need to be made aware that mental illnesses are not a sign of weakness and in fact like admitting to yourself and getting help is actually like it's a strong thing to do. Like I know uh, our resident police officer sometimes goes around and does like PowerPoint presentations on them but I think maybe if teachers talked more about it like it doesn't have to be an everyday thing or like even every week but like Maybe just a presentation or something highlighting it and making this kind of thing more prominently, more prominent in people's minds and like maybe put more posters or something up. Like unless you're in the health classroom, you really don't see information about it. You, go, you can go to the health classroom, you can go to like the guidance office and there's stuff there, but really around the school if you're just walking, it's, there's really nothing. This is just a small thing, but in, like in gym classes, if they have people pick teams, like I don't know, it's just you feel really bad if you're the last pick. I just think maybe they should say like you're on this team, you're on this team, not out. I know it's a small thing, but that is one thing. That I think if we don't have equity and acceptance in our school, then how can we expect the students to still to be accepting of everyone else once they leave these walls? Like once they get out into the real world, how can students um, believe in equity if they haven't been taught about it in schools? And I don't really see any like racism that much at our school, and I think that's a good thing. And there are like some people who are close-minded towards like race, gender, sexuality. I don't know, even probably something just as simple as like a club in every school that's for equality, whether it's a gay straight alliance or just a multicultural club, whatever kind of club, I just think that would make a big change in the school because a lot of people would see that club and think, wow, if that many people can do it, then why can't I? Personally, I think equality is diversity because diversity means that you don't care what other people think or what other people do or what, uh, what kind of religion they follow or what gender they are. You just want to have a good time. Um, I think you could have something like as simple as a equality assembly or something. Just something that gets students excited about being who they are 
and also have maybe different speakers, like as Kush was suggesting, have different speakers talking about like why they believe what they do, but in a way that gets students thinking about it, but also like excited about accepting each other, because I think something that really works on the students is getting them excited. I would say equity is the acceptance and respect of everyone around you, regardless of your sexuality, gender, or race. I think equity is a very, very broad topic, right? And I think what kind of ties it all together is the diversity of the world, um, the acceptance that people get from those around them, and just the protection of human rights. They know about equality, but they don't like they don't know that they know about equality, right? Like like they know that they are accepting towards other people, but they don't know how much it really means to the other people. I know that students kind of take it upon themselves to kind of um, accomplish that task of equality and stuff like that. But I think that the board of and the Ministry of Education and like teachers or principals of all the schools, um, they could definitely help to raise awareness about that, whether it be in the classroom, whether it be putting up posters in the hallway, making announcements, having assemblies, that kind of stuff.